First Samuel 17 David and Goliath Now the Philistines gathered their armies for battle. Saul and the men of Israel were gathered and drew up in battle array to encounter the Philistines. The Philistines stood on the mountain on one side, while Israel stood on the mountain on the other side, with the valley between them. Then a champion came out from the armies of the Philistines, named Goliath from Gath. He was nine feet, nine inches tall. He wore a bronze helmet on his head, and he was clothed with bronze scale armor, which weighed 125 pounds. He also had bronze armor on the shins of his legs, and a bronze sword was slung between his shoulders. The shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and the point of his spear weighed 15 pounds of iron. His shield bearer was walking in front of him. Goliath stood and shouted to the Israelite battle formations. Why do you come out to line up in battle formation? He asked them. Am I not a Philistine? And are you not servants of Saul? Choose one of your men and have him come down against me. If he wins in a fight against me and kills me, we will be your servants. But if I win against him and kill him, then you will be our servants and serve us. When Saul and all Israel heard these words from the Philistine, they lost their courage and were terrified. The Philistine came forward morning and evening for 40 days and took his stand. One day, Jesse had told his son David, take this half bushel of roasted grain along with these 10 loaves of bread for your brothers and hurry to their camp. Also take these 10 portions of cheese to the field commander. Check on the welfare of your brothers and bring a confirmation from them. They are with Saul and all the men of Israel in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. Israel and the Philistines lined up in battle formation facing each other. David left his supplies in the care of the quartermaster and ran to the battle line. When he arrived, he asked his brothers how they were. While he was speaking with them, suddenly the champion named Goliath, the Philistine from Gath, came forward from the Philistine battle line and shouted his usual words, which David heard. When all the Israelite men saw Goliath, they retreated from him, terrified. 
David spoke to the men who were standing with him. What will be done for the man who kills that Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? Just who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? David said to Saul, do not let anyone be discouraged by him. Your servant will go and fight this Philistine. But Saul replied, You cannot go fight this Philistine. You are just a youth, and he has been a warrior since he was young. David answered Saul, your servant has been tending his father's sheep. Your servant has killed lions and bears. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, for he has defied the armies of the living God. Then David said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul said to David, Go, and may the Lord be with you. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. This day the Lord will deliver you up into my hands, and I will strike you down and remove your head from you, and I will give the dead bodies of the army of the Philistines this day to the birds of the sky and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And this whole assembly will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's. He will hand you over to us. When the Philistines started forward to attack him, David ran quickly to the battle line to meet the Philistine. David put his hand in the bag, took out a stone, slung it, and hit the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the ground. David defeated the Philistine with a sling and a stone, and he struck the Philistine and killed him, but there was no sword in David's hand. Then David ran and stood over him, and he took the Philistine's sword, pulled it out of its sheath, and used it to kill him. Then he cut off his head with it. When the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. When the Israelites returned from the pursuit of the Philistines, they plundered their camps. David took Goliath's head and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put Goliath's weapons in his own tent. <laughs>